Right. I'm an expert on this. And believe me when I tell you I'm an expert because I moved to London eight years ago from Spain. I didn't have money. I didn't have a job. I couldn't speak English at all. And my camera, it was just for my hobby. And I came here chasing dreams because I wanted to be a freelance photographer. And yes, I made it. But the beginning it was really hard because I didn't have a photography studio and I do a lot of portrait photography. So I built so many studios everywhere in tiny rooms, in tiny houses, everywhere I've been to because London is expensive. I was paying like an average of 900 pounds for a tiny room serving the flat with more people. So as you can understand, I wouldn't be able to pay like two grand, three grand per month for a photography studio. So yes, I managed to take amazing press shots for artists, fashion photography, portrait photography, professionally in a very tiny wall in my place and with a very low budget. So trust me, you are in the right place for it. I'm gonna show you my studio, but first I'm gonna have to change the lens because literally I live in a very tiny studio flat in Camden Town, which is super cool, it's amazing. I think everyone knows Camden Town and if not, check it out. It's very nice and very creative, but you have to pay the price for it. So now I live on my own. I have a very tiny studio flat I manage to do it in a very compact way. So I have my bed, I have my sofa bed in a super compact place. And I have my photography studio, which is literally behind you, behind the camera, three steps. I'm just gonna swap the camera around, but I'm gonna change the lens and let's go there. Okay guys, so here we are two steps away from before. And this is my photography studio. I'll show you now how tiny it is, so you can have an idea. And I wanna show you as well now a few shots I did in this place. So I did professional work here. I shot with international artists here. I shot fashion here and it's super tiny. So this has to encourage you to do your work and even professional work in your place or wherever you are at because you can make it happen. And at the beginning I was very self-conscious because I was like very shy to bring people at my place. And then I was thinking, so many people don't have the budget and what they care about is about the quality you give them. So guys, if you have a tiny place to shoot, do it now because it's gonna work <laughs> if you make it work. So um, I'm gonna tell you the essentials and then add some things in case you have the budget, but it's still they're gonna be on a budget. And I'm gonna talk as well about the material. That's the first thing I'm gonna tell you about. The material of the backdrop, I, I have an interview actually in Saturday Stock, I'm gonna link below, talking about the right material for you because I don't know which kind of photography you do, but it doesn't matter you do portrait photography, fashion or product, I would always choose paper because I don't like shiny materials. They can reflect the flash on it and I don't like that. So for me, that matte feeling is essential. Then amount of backdrops you have to buy, you don't need even any if you don't have the budget. You don't need any because if you have a white wall, I do a lot of portrait work just in a white wall. So you don't need a backdrop. I have because I do e-commerce shots. Otherwise, I wouldn't have it. But product photography nowadays, it's very in demand because of what is going on. So I recommend you to get one white one. And then the black one, I have it because I love moody portraits. Then the next hack, regardless of what you shoot or which backdrops you're gonna take, size. There is normally two sizes, the standard one for portrait, and then there is the very big one, like the, it's very popular in bigger studios. They don't fit, it doesn't fit here obviously. But then I found a website where they sell car size backdrops. And for me this was amazing because I can just load it in my car and carry it everywhere. Well, my car, I sold it, so not anymore. But you can carry it around. The big one doesn't fit, the ported one, yes. But for me, the ported one was super narrow and because I was shooting a lot with international artists, I was shooting horizontal. So then there is copy space for the graphic designer to put the lineup or whatever. So because of that, I didn't take the portrait size and I went for the car size. This one was like 50 pounds, something like that. I'm gonna link the website in the description below. I'm not really sure if now they send worldwide because of the coronavirus, but, and I don't even really know if there is more websites that sell this size, but look in Google car size and check it out because this size for me is perfect. I think it's like two meters 0 0.08 or something like that. And this wall for you to have an idea is two meters. So you wanna have a reference, this wall is two meters and I managed to fit this backdrop. So you have two meters of a wall, you can make it work for you as well. 
And I'm gonna tell you my favorite hack I've learned when I was working in another photography studio for someone else. Um, is it buying like a backdrop stands for the paper because it's more expensive even though I recommend you to get one of those I'm gonna link it below the one I have from Manfrotto they are very good because you can carry them around they have a bag so you can carry it and if you are shooting in I don't know outdoors or in another house you're gonna be able to set up your studio on the go so you have a mobile studio so you can get backdrop stands but Again, if you don't have the budget, I give you the cheap option, <laughs> and it's IKEA. I love IKEA for this, and what I've learned in this studio is if you get a court pole, you buy just that, which is super cheap, and then you buy the hooks of the court pole, and then you put it up, and that's it. You don't have to do anything else, and guys, you save the space because, for example, here when it's super tiny, I used to have actually in this flat before light stands, uh, sorry, backdrop stands, but they take a space in the floor and then the paper has to go more forward. So then I don't have a space enough to shoot because this is super tiny. <laughs> so this was a very great solution because I put the curtain pole there and then the backdrop is very close to the wall. So I save a lot of space. I'm gonna link it below as well if this is an option for you. And then extra tip, so many studios I saw, they have like a stack. I mean, my ceiling is very low, but so many photography studios is very high. So then to store it, few paper rolls, they put like a lot of them, a lot of Ikea holes, and, and that's it. So that's an amazing hack. And what else? I wanna carry on for the lighting. The lighting, okay, I know it's very expensive. And to be honest, years ago when I was getting one light, there was not the tip options. I bought one from Pixapro for 700, which is my favorite ever so you have the budget go for it but if you are here probably you don't yet at least yet so the one i found very affordable and it works very well because i tried myself is this one which is the newer sk 400 i'm gonna tell you something uh, newer and godox i don't know if you know about this but um, they are built by the same uh, factory so if you go to Amazon and you put newer 400SK or Godox, it's gonna look the same. So I bought the Godox and I had to return it. I don't know for which reason the quality was worse. Uh, the modeling lamp, when you screw it, it, it broke the thingy that holds the modeling lamp. And I was so disappointed and then I was checking online and they told me the newer is the same but better quality. And it was the same price. I don't know about this, guys, because I do have a, a Godos light, a continuous light, I'll show you now. And that light, it's amazing. It's a LED light for my YouTube videos and it works amazing and the quality is amazing. I love Godox, but for some reason that flash, I, the quality wasn't good and the newer is good. So yeah, this one is very affordable. I think it's like 140, I'm gonna link it below. 140, guys, even, I don't know if you're a beginner or not, but 140 is super cheap for a flash in a studio. So I would recommend you to get that one if you want a flash. And then this is same important, like if you buy a flash and you don't buy a proper light modifier, you're not gonna get amazing light in your subjects because this modifier makes the skin softer and the light drops amazingly in the subject. So I have a very good one, but it's not here, it's back in Spain because when I move temporary in summer and then I came back, I left a lot of things behind. It's from Elinchrom. That one is incredible, it's super, super good, but it's expensive. So the cheap option is this one, which is newer as well. Newer and Godox for me are the, the ones to go for affordable stuff for the studio, guys. I'm gonna link it as well. This is gonna be like, I think was like 50, 50 pounds, something like that. Again, alternative. If you don't have the budget for a flash, you don't have the budget for a light modifier, use natural light. So many people use only natural light and they get incredible, incredible, incredible pictures. So make sure always, for me, I'm, I'm lucky enough, I have just two windows next to my studio. So if I wouldn't have light, I would use the natural light from my windows. And it works. If you know how to play with light and with reflectors, you can make it work for you if you don't have lighting. And otherwise, ring light, so many people use it. I'm very against, obviously, because it's very shiny in the face, but for starting, it's not so bad. So I would recommend you this light. 
and this light modifier and it's super super cheap and you just buy it once and then you have it for years and you have an amazing studio at home so those are the essentials then an extra tip i can give you uh, so it's a tether cable this is an extra you don't really need this i didn't have this till years later but you are into product photography or even portrait photography this is very useful mostly for port uh, for sorry for product photography because you connect the camera to your laptop and while you are shooting every shot appears in the screen in big so you can see if everything is focused you can see the color how it's coming out and you can even uh, preview the preset you want to apply on the go so you shoot you see it there you apply more or less so you see how it's gonna look like so this is super super good for self-portraits as well for portrait for fashion very inexpensive you don't need it for now but just in case you like it about the light modifier uh, i'll show you now a few shots i took the other day for my youtube thumbnail you see the light how it falls on my face and how much it softens the skin obviously the pictures are edited i have to edit the skin always is uh, the most normal thing to do in portrait photography but the lighting look at it is super like in 3d is super nice and this is a cheap one guys so you don't have to spend like 300 in a light modifier you spend 50 and they look amazing and then the last thing I want to talk about and don't even put too much effort into it guys is the newer stands that's it put newer stands whatever you're gonna buy Amazon or whatever and it's gonna be like super cheap like there is no mystery with light stands and I don't think you need anything else for the studio as a conclusion I would say curtain pole and hooks if you want to buy a backdrop if you buy a backdrop paper and car size if you have a tiny place and the light i really would say you need it unless you want to play just with window light but you want studio looking pictures like artistic ones like the ones i do or you can check them out on my website as well i have a lot of work there this kit is super good super cheap and you're gonna be able to do professional work in your home which is essential right now during these crazy times I hope you enjoyed the video guys, please subscribe to my channel and drop below your comments if you have any ideas, if you have any questions and I will see you very soon.